here at Montwood High School for us to go to like the place where we're going to sing out. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here more than I would like to admit. This video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. Today I am getting ready for date night with my husband to celebrate our high school sweetheart anniversary. We will be headed out to visit the place where Ruben and I met and I'm super happy for these beautiful Ana Luisa pieces to elevate my outfit. Ana Luisa Jewelry elevates your everyday. They offer high quality yet accessible jewelry pieces and since 2018 they've made millions of people across the globe not only look good but feel good in their jewelry. Their designs are affordable and start at $39. They have over 25,000 five-star reviews and all their products are backed by a 365-day warranty. Thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Your jewelry is beautiful. Thank you again so much. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the HTC Family channel. If you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully, y'all like this video. If you guys are coming back, thank you guys for coming back. It is our anniversary. High school sweethearts anniversary. High school sweethearts, that's what we call it. Huh? Like a little poll on our social media is asking you guys if you wanted us to go live or if you guys wanted us to do a vlog. And most of you guys wanted the vlog, but it wasn't by much. So we will be doing a live sometime soon yeah. since a lot of you guys did want us to do a live. So our love story begins like this. So as we've told you guys before, Ruben and I did meet in high school. Oh, 13 years and a week ago. Uh, we met. Let's just say I had a first two years of high school that weren't too great. Until um, you met me. Until I met her, she like completely changed my life around. Yeah, I was you like, started going to school. Uh, straight A. Uh, straight A's. First class of the day was second period. Uh, I had just registered that morning. I went to chemistry class. They they kind of walked me in because I didn't know where anything was. Mr. Rontiveros, actually great teacher by the way. He welcomes me to his class. I look around, you know, to see where I'm gonna sit. I see a cute girl. And I look over, I'm like looking at her, and she's like this. I'm like, oh god, no, que no me sienten ahí, que no me sienten ahí. Somebody new is joining us right now. For those of you that don't know, I don't think we even said it, but we are high school sweethearts, and we are a family of six, and this is our youngest baby girl. She is four months old. So I was saying, so Ruben walks in, and I don't know, like he... The way that I saw it, like he came in like <laughs> todo presumido, like he came in all así como I'm que humble. el papacito de la escuela, como que ya llegué, chiqui baby, like with half of his hair blue and then the other half white. Oh yeah, like he comes in y todo, and then I'm like, oh my god, hopefully they don't sit him next to me, hopefully they don't sit him next to me. Y luego, puso su bolsa y puso mochila y en la chica. <laughs> and then nuestro tiberos, pues ya he was like, salgado, and I was like, can you raise your hand, please? And I'm like. I came all cheerful, I was like a catalog. I know, you came all excited for the day. I'm like, I'm ready, you know, ready to learn. I don't remember, right now I'm remembering something, but I remember how it went. But I think Mr. Antiveros was talking to me. Oh no, he was talking to you. It was like five minutes before class ended or something. I think because I was in track back then and I needed his signature to be able to compete oh, in, you were going on a track in one of my, yeah, in one of my track meets. So I went and asked him and then um, Ruben's talking to him because he was new so he was like I guess like showing him what he needed or something. It was lunchtime afterwards so like I kind of wanted to like get out of the class. So yeah he gets to me and then as he's talking to me because he's telling me that I, he was telling me that I owed some papers. I don't even remember what. But he's telling me and I turn around and Ruben's like totally like scanning me like he's like como like checking me out and luego um, I was like Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, you just didn't give me really good vibes. Like, you didn't give me good vibes at all. We were on a schedule where we had four, we had eight classes. Four classes one day, four different ones the yeah. next day. A, a and B day. A day, B day. On Monday comes Monday, we have different classes, so I don't see her. Tuesday, we have chemistry again. Um, I get to chemistry class, yeah. We're there all class, is they working on the work or whatever. I kind of keep looking at her. She seemed in a better mood that day. I was shy. Well, I'm still shy. I'm shy. And she kind of like me chiviaba, you know, like I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like maybe what, like 10 minutes before class ended, no? She she looks over. I had my akami, 
me, como se dice? Binder. My binder and I had my schedule in the front, you know, because that's how we roll. She looks over at Katachi and she's like, Oh, and like, oh, that's my coach. That's really the, good teacher. He's a really, he's a, coach. he's a really good coach. I'm like, oh yeah, he's, I had had, I had had his class on Friday. Oh, on Monday. I, I was like, I actually had him <laughs> yesterday. He's actually really good. I really like the teacher and everything. Yeah. And she's like, oh yeah, he's my track coach. I'm like, oh, you run track? She's like, oh yes. He's like, yeah, como que. I could talk about track all day. Yeah, so yeah, como que, I just, I just said track. Yeah, como que, yeah. <laughs> she, like all the, all the judgment she had on me, all the scanning, she didn't care. Like, you yeah. know about track. Yeah, so yeah, we start we start talking a little bit, you know, the last five minutes of class or whatever. He's like, oh, so what's your name? And then he tells me, oh, it's Ruben. And then I go, oh, okay. And then well, my name is Alejandra. And then he's like, Alejandra. I will never forget that name. Never forget. And that's why, well, I don't know if that's why, like, but I always call her Alejandra. Mm -hmm. Everyone's always like, Ale, Ale, Ali, mm -hmm. this, that. And I mean, of course, like, I call her baby and my love and and all those good stuff, right? My queen. Yeah. I tell her that, you know, like I was trying to win some points over, you know? Yeah. Yeah, what she she had a nice smile. Well, she still does, but she had a nice smile. I was like, With no, no. braces. <laughs> braces. <laughs> braces. That's it. But no, like, she was like really, really down to earth. She wasn't as payasa. I was like, ah, she's just having a bad day the other day. Mm -hmm. So, bell rings. Go to lunch. This day, and I was like, hijo, it was the past two days. Like, it was my third day in, in, in that school. So, I was like, the past two days, I had just been going to the library. Just, he hadn't made friends. Just, yet. I hadn't made friends. Like, I was like, I see the loner in the library, just sitting down. And I told her, I told her, hey, um, well, I don't have any friends. Like, I straight up told you, right? I'm a donkey and trip. Well, um, I don't have no, any friends. I <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, I'll see you next class. And then he was like, hey, what are you doing for lunch? I was like, oh, I'm going to go with my friend. And then he was like, oh, pues. Me voy a, me voy a, acoplar. a acoplar. Me acoplar contigo. I'm gonna tag along. She didn't have a big circle of friends. <laughs> <laughs> I had two friends. So yeah, he went to lunch with me. It was really nice. Like even my friends, like they really liked him. Um, and I did too. Like nos pusimos a platicar a lot that first day. Honestly, like I think we hit it off really quickly. We started texting that day. Mm -hmm. Then the next morning, I timed it to where like I got there at the same time she did. I took the bus. Cause she took. I'm trying to kind of to say, hey. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's just the bus. <laughs> and the bus was always there on time. And I always knew that he was gonna be there. And I was there like always, like always. I was like, oh, I knew if I had to run across the street, you know, because they would drop me off across the street. I had to run to meet her there, you know, like hold her hand in that last step of the bus. <laughs> I disguised it as like her showing me around campus in a way. But I would take her to her classes. Yeah. I started like right away, like we weren't even dating, like it was just, we were literally just friends talking. We were honestly just, in school we were like, the class we had together of course, during lunch together, we would eat breakfast together. My friends didn't even want to hang out with us anymore. Like it was weird, like within like two days, <laughs> within two days her friends were out. Now she's like, oh yeah, we've been friends since like, since middle school and elementary school, no sé qué, like we've been friends forever and we hang out all the time and, and just... We like, did! In two days, in two days, like all of a sudden... Yeah, but we would still talk, like... Si, I know. Si but I, I guess they kind of saw yeah. that, like, that I liked you or something. You said you did. Well, I didn't at the beginning. Ruben was, like, from back then, de la onda de los rebels. Like, me, like, I wasn't like that. Or I wasn't like that at that point because I had like my little face, but he was still in that face. Um, so to me, I was like, no, like he's just gonna hang with me for a little bit until he finds his friends that are in that little circulito, like the rebels, and you know they would go to raves and all of that. So and I wasn't like that. I my parents were strict with me, and not only that, but they still are. I think they still are. Yeah, they still are. <laughs> But I, I wouldn't go out as much. Like, my circle of friends was mostly like like church than than school. And I told my friends that I was like, he's just gonna hang out with us until he finds his own friends that are in, into that stuff. And then he's gonna leave us, you know? So that's why to me, I didn't really wanna get into him. But then as the days went along, and I know that I'm only talking about like one week, but as Oh yeah, the days, for the record, we only met a week. Before we started. I was leading up oh. to that. You just stole it from me. I was like, I'm reaching the climax, and then you just casually throw it in. That week, I mean, he kind of opened up to me and told me that his dad passed away. And, and you know, he kind of told me, like, how hard it was for him to adjust to this um, to this new change because he had been in that other side of town. Um, northeast, my north, time. my northeast peeps. Ya metimos a la baby en su jaula. Y see each other Monday morning. 
I'm like, you know, like I'm ready. I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna ask you to be my girlfriend. But I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of fearing rejection, you know? Like, we had just met each other a week ago. She's telling her own part. You're telling your own part of the story, Lovacita? <laughs> so, I'm like ready, I'm like, but I'm, I'm fearing that she's gonna reject me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna wait till after school. I text her, she had track at the end of the day. I tell her, okay, like, I'm gonna meet you in this, this place, which we're gonna show you guys the place. I text her, right after school, she doesn't answer. I call her, she doesn't answer. I'm at the place where we're gonna meet, and she's not answering me. I'm there maybe like five minutes, I didn't wait like a whole, whole long. And I was like, I was like mad, like I was really upset. And sad at the same time, you know? So then, I'm walking back, when I get in the car, she calls me. I'm already like driving home. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, it's because I was in track and they didn't let me go and this and that. I, I call wise. I couldn't leave. I was in the middle so, of the middle. I'm not gonna lie, like, I was mad. Next day, again, because I, I pick her up from the bus, another normal day. And towards the end of the day, I'm like, hey, I want to talk to you, but this time for real. Like, I need you to show up. You know what I mean? She's like, yes, yes, I promise, I promise I'll be there, I promise. She gets there, and I'm like, yes, okay. I'm, I'm like, Phew. My heart's like pounding up my chest, my knees are weak, my arms are heavy, mom's spaghetti. <laughs> I'm like, no, well, like I really like you, I really like how you are. I wanted to know if like, if you want to be my girlfriend. She hits me with like, what felt like an eternity of silence. Okay, so I was gonna, initially, I was gonna say no, because we had only met for a week. I was still, I still wasn't sure that he was gonna stick around. Clearly, you did. I didn't leave, man. Yeah, leave. Couldn't get rid of me. But I wasn't sure. Y luego aparte, I had like a little guajiro relationship like a couple of months ago. Y según yo, I was heartbroken and I was like, so for a moment I was like, mm, I don't know. And then like I, I kind of thought about it. I still wanted him to be my friend because clearly we had somehow became really good friends over that week. So then I told him, okay, like well, I, I accept as long as you know you remain my friend. <laughs> All right, let's do this as a team. She's like, promise me that if we break up, we'll continue being friends. We're still friends. We're still friends, forever friends, me, baby. Yes, friends. She said yes, and I was like, I feel happy, and I wanted to hug her, and then she's like, I know, I'm all it's sweaty. I was in track. It's because why do you ask me in the middle of track practice? I was like super sweaty. Because <clears throat> look, this is like honestly, like, this is honestly. I would have asked you earlier in the day, and you would have like rejected me. Like I would have had to like potentially still see you the rest of the day, you know. That would have been super weird. Well, so, I thought it was kind of weird to like give you a hug when I was like super So yeah, she was like, I got like, sweaty. It's like, I know, I'm all sweaty. I was like, bueno, pues, give me a kiss. And she gave me a kiss. I did. And that was our first kiss. And fast forward to 223. We have four beautiful babies. One of which doesn't let us do vlogs. Yes. Or eat. Or sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys. So that's how we met. We're going to stop it at how you asked me out and all of that. We are probably gonna do like a different part series. We're gonna be taking you guys with us to Montwood High School so you guys can see where we met to be continued. <laughs> yeah. We're actually walking towards the location that uh, it went down. Yes. Uh, I get nervous again. So it was that way. And I was coming from the opposite direction. You wanna go that way? I was coming from over there. Can you see me? Yeah. Yes. So in between the portables in the building was where I was at. I was coming from that side. And like I was like scared, you know, I was nervous. Right there was a the location. This general area is where she became my girlfriend. It's where it all started. It's where the HDZ family started before we even knew it. Alright, time, time, time to eat. I absolutely love the 
beautiful date night jewelry by Ana Luisa. Don't forget to check them out, my friends. Thank you once more, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video.